We unite to build a nation. Most Belizeans want an independent and sovereign Belize, but there are some persons who are against it. They say the people are too few and the country too small and poor to have its independence. To those who doubt honestly or not in our ability to be free Belizeans, I would recall a sentence Victor Hugo wrote on the measures of greatness. Quote, there is no such thing as a little country. The greatness of a people is no more determined by their number than the greatness of a man is determined by his height. Unquote. All true Belizeans agree with Victor Hugo. We are a small but a great people, and we are a country with a great future. On this national day, we pay tribute to our Belizean people and their present and future greatness. We are a Christian people. We are on the side of Christian democracy. We are a people who wish to live in peace and in friendship with all our neighbors. We are ever willing to discuss any problem peacefully, rationally, but firmly. In population, we are comparable to the population of some independent countries. In area, we are larger than several independent nations in the Western Hemisphere. In future outlook, we are second to none in the greatness of our people who are true Belizean patriots and who work hard to bring a better life for all. We know that freedom and prosperity anywhere is of great help for freedom and prosperity everywhere. Undaunted by those who belittle us unjustly, undismayed by the social and economic problems which we meet in our determined onslaught against ignorance, poverty, disease, and a status of dependency, we renew our strength and our courage on our national day. Our cause is just. Our objective of independence is safeguarded by the international right of self-determination and guaranteed by the Charter of the United Nations. We march forward our symbols of independence, our blue and white flag, our national hymn, and our Belizean name and identity. As we march forward, we pause to express our gratitude to all who have helped us to attain self-rule and are helping us reach our historic destiny of independence. To the United Nations for their technical aid, to the seven countries in the Western Hemisphere who have supported our determination to be a free and sovereign Belizean nation, to Mexico, Canada, and the United States of America who have given us technical aid. We are thankful to Her Majesty the Queen, to the British government and people who have contributed generous technical and capital aid to our hurricane reconstruction program, our development plan, and to our budget. Their help is generous, but more help is needed to carry out our development plan based on the United Nations study and for the new capital. The success of our National Day celebrations is due to the loyal and generous support of Belizeans who have donated to the fund and who have attended our celebrations all over the country. I thank one and all. May God bless them and us as we redouble our efforts to build our Belizean nation in Central America. To move forward to our historic destiny, we wake up and work. Trabajamos para la patria belicena as we unite to build a nation.